Welcome to Variant. Before I get into today's episode, we want to take a second to talk about the heartbreaking loss of life and severe destruction caused by Hurricane Harvey in Southeast Texas this past week. While the full scope and scale of the damage won't be known for some time, the human and emotional toll is already more than evident as many families have literally lost everything they have. And with so much devastation and loss, the need for support and resources is massive. Fellow YouTuber Casey Neistat was actually down in Houston and posted a video that gives you a brief glimpse of what's going on down there. He also caught up with the amazing Team Rubicon, a nonprofit organization made up of military veterans who deploy emergency response teams from all over the country. These men and women are some of the true superheroes who have been down there literally saving lives, and it's been awesome to see some of the amazing stories of sacrifice and humanity coming out of such a difficult event. So we encourage all of you guys to be a hero yourself and do whatever you can to help in the relief efforts. We've placed links for Team Rubicon and the Red Cross in the description. So whatever you're donating, whether it's time, money, clothing, whatever, every little bit counts. And with yet another massive hurricane threatening in the Atlantic, it looks like many people are going to need some superheroes for quite a while. And we've got your back, guys. Having said that, let's get into today's episode. Over here on Planet Variant, we like to keep up with all the thoughts and comments we get from all of you guys. In fact, many of you guys have given us some great suggestions for episodes over the years, and today's episode is actually one of them. Over the past few weeks, several of you guys have asked for us to talk about the best hand-to-hand -hand fighters in the DC and Marvel universes, which is an awesome idea. So we're going to tackle the 10 best hand-to-hand -hand fighters in DC first, and then we'll cover Marvel's 10 best fighters in a future episode. And for those of you who made the suggestion, thanks a ton, and here's your episode. To make things clear, our list is purely based on fighting skills, not how strong or powerful a character is. So while characters like Superman and Shazam are incredibly powerful, that doesn't mean they are some of the most skilled fighters in hand-to-hand -hand combat, as they rely heavily on their raw power in a fight, while other characters like Damian Wayne or Batgirl must rely purely on their fighting skill and cunning. With that said, I'm going to stop rambling and get into the list. Kicking us off at number 10 is Dinah Lance, Black Canary. She's a former student of Wildcat who's helped train many of DC's greatest fighters, including Batman. Spoiler alert, Wildcat isn't on our list, because even though he's helped train many of the best fighters in the DC universe, we think everyone in our top 10 has proven themselves better at executing fighting skills. Anyway, back to Canary. She's one of the world's most powerful and skilled female martial artists, having gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with even the likes of Lady Shiva. She's such a skilled fighter, in fact, that she was also later asked to be Lady Shiva's successor. You'll see why that's impressive later on in the episode. Anyway, on another occasion, Black Canary was described as having the capability to defeat Batman himself, which makes sense considering she's an expert in judo, boxing, dragon-style kung fu, jiu-jitsu, and many other forms of martial arts. Not to mention, if you factor in her devastating canary cry, you have one deadly combatant. At number 9 is Batman's first protege, Dick Grayson, aka Robin, aka Nightwing. It goes without saying, being trained by Batman will automatically make you one of the best fighters out there. And over the course of time, Grayson became an expert in boxing, judo, Muay Thai, ninjutsu, capoeira, and the list goes on. He's also a master of a form of bow staff fighting called bojutsu, hence his signature weapons being the screma sticks. Having grown up in the circus, Dick is also an amazing acrobat, which helps him tremendously in combat as he can move in ways not many people on Earth can. Over the years, Nightwing has stalemated some of DC's best fighters like Cassandra Kane and Deathstroke. He's so skilled that when Bruce Wayne was thought to be dead, Dick took over the cape and cowl, becoming freaking Batman himself. That alone should tell you how skilled Grayson really is. Landing at number 8 is Cassandra Kane. She's the daughter of Lady Shiva and David Kane, so being a highly skilled hand-to-hand -hand combatant just runs in the family. Not only did she receive training from her assassin parents, she also was trained by Black Canary, Bronze Tiger, the freaking League of Assassins, Batman, Oracle, and Merlin, just to name a few. Cassandra also has the unique ability to read the body movements of her opponents, giving her the ability to anticipate her opponent's moves before they even make them. This skill helped land her on a very short list of people who have defeated Lady Shiva, but proving her skill set even further, she has been one of Batman's protégés, taking the mantle of Batgirl for a while, then later became Black Bat, and more recently taking on the name Orphan. All in all, she's easily one of the deadliest fighters in DC lore. Number 7 on our list is Bronze Tiger. No matter what continuity you're talking about, Bronze Tiger has always been considered one of the best fighters in all of DC Comics. Literally, his entire claim to fame is being one of the best hand-to-hand -hand fighters DC has to offer. 
Bronze Tiger's agility and ferocity is so insane, he's beaten Batman and fought Richard Dragon to a draw. I could also list all the different fighting styles he knows, but I feel like that's going to get a bit redundant as the list goes on. Bronze Tiger isn't an A-lister by any means and doesn't appear in a ton of comics, but when he does, he certainly makes an impression. At number 6 we have Connor Hawk. Connor Hawk is the son of Oliver Queen and among the world's greatest martial artists. He's proven himself as one of DC's best fighters multiple times, having stalemated Lady Shiva and Richard Dragon. He's also defeated Silver Monkey, who's the second ranked fighter in sheer skill and knowledge of the Monkey's Fist Cult. And if that isn't enough, Connor is such a formidable fighter that he's even won fights when blinded. He's a master of countless different forms of martial arts, but what probably gives him the greatest advantage is being able to copy other fighting styles that he's seen. I mean, could you imagine being able to mimic someone else's fighting style, I could only wish. At number 5 is Deathstroke. Now it could be argued that Deathstroke shouldn't be this high on the list due to the fact that a big part of what makes him so deadly is being a master with any and all weapons. But just because he can pick you off from a mile and a half away with a sniper rifle doesn't mean that's all he can do. Deathstroke is a grandmaster in ninjutsu, boxing, jujitsu, and other forms of martial arts. But the real advantage to his hand-to-hand -hand fighting skills comes from the serum that augmented all of his abilities. He has enhanced strength, speed, agility, durability, stamina, and sense all of which comes in handy in a fight. He also has a healing factor, but what I think makes him incredibly deadly is the fact that he can think nine times faster than a normal man. This allows him to calculate and strategize way faster than most. In short, he's nine steps ahead of you at all times, which is one of the many reasons he's called Deathstroke the Terminator. Just missing the top three is the Dark Knight. We all know that Bruce Wayne spent years traveling the world after his parents died, and over those years he dedicated himself to transforming his body into a literal weapon, being trained by some of the world's greatest martial arts grandmasters. Putting it simply, Batman has learned and mastered over 127 forms of martial arts. That's all kinds of insane. I didn't even know that many forms existed. Anyway, in order to confuse his opponents, he will often switch up his fighting style to remain unpredictable. Superman has even described Batman as, quote, the most dangerous man on Earth, end quote. That alone should tell you all you need to know. But as a founding member of the Justice League, Bruce fights metahumans on the regular and is still able to maintain his status as one of the top five hand-to-hand -hand fighters in the DC Universe. Lastly, the only reason why Batman isn't higher on this list is because Bruce holds back most of the time, as he refuses to use the deadly techniques he's learned over the years. But imagine if he didn't have a moral code. He'd be an absolute savage. Rounding out the top three is a character you've heard me mention a lot throughout this episode, and that is Lady Shiva. Simply put, Shiva is considered by most characters in the DC Universe to be the best fighter on the entire planet. She is literally a grandmaster of more forms of martial arts than I could even mention. She's so skilled that in the DC Universe, it's considered an honor to train under her. As I've mentioned, she's trained several of the characters on this list. She's just that good. She's also known as the world's greatest assassin and arguably the most powerful martial artist. Lady Shiva is so skilled that she can kill someone with a single strike. No weapons, just her bare hands. Her knowledge of fighting styles includes several that have been long forgotten, and she possesses the same body language based intuition ability that her daughter has, but at an even higher degree. Altogether, she's an absolute beast. At runner up is Richard Dragon, yet another character you've heard me mention throughout the episode. Richard was a former thief who trained in martial arts, then used his abilities for good. Like many of the people on this list, he's a grandmaster in numerous forms of martial arts. The main difference being, he's simply better at them. Case in point, he trained Lady Shiva. That's it, right there. Though not a widely known character, Richard Dragon has always been based in martial arts, including his self-titled series called Richard Dragon Kung Fu Fighter. And over time, he's also trained Batman, Huntress, The Question, Vic Sage, Nightwing, Black Canary, and the list goes on for days, my friends. Considering he doesn't have any metahuman abilities, just pure skill, Richard Dragon is that much more impressive. Taking the top spot at number one is the Karate Kid. Now, unless you're a diehard DC fan, you're most likely thinking about this guy. 
And as funny as that would be, that's not who I'm referring to. I'm talking about Val Armor, aka DC's Karate Kid, and a member of the Legion of Superheroes. Karate Kid is a martial arts master based in the 30th century, who lives in the Japanese sector of the United Earth. But what sets him apart as the greatest fighter in the DC universe is that he has mastered every form of unarmed combat known to man. As in, all of them. He also has the ability to locate the weakest point of an object, which gives him a huge advantage in combat. That, and you know, knowing every single fighting style ever created. Also, when he focuses his chi, his spirit and body become like unyielding granite, which I could only imagine would not be fun to hit or take hits from. Put it this way, this dude is such a good fighter that his fighting prowess alone is considered by many to be a superpower. I'll give you a second to let that sink in. Now before I wrap this up, let me give some love to a few honorable mentions, which include Wildcat, O Sensei, David Kane, Constantine Dracon, Ra's al Ghul, and Wonder Woman. I'm sure not everyone's gonna agree with this list, so be sure to let us know what your list would be in the comment section down below. Then head over to VariantComics.com to join in on the conversation about today's episode with the rest of the Variant Nation. When you buy a domain name from Domain.com, you get the power to influence and control what people find when they search for you online. No domain extension will help you tell your story like a .com or a .net domain name. Domain.com is affordable, reliable, and easy to use. The guys at Domain.com gave Variants an awesome offer. Get 15% off Domain.com's already affordable domain names and web hosting when you use the coupon code Variants at checkout. So when you think domain names, think Domain.com. First up for Wednesday, September 6th, we have Journey to Star Wars The Last Jedi Captain Phasma Issue 1. Do you guys remember when Captain Phasma was thrown into the trash compactor in The Force Awakens? Well, this comic gives you her side of the story and how she escaped. Here we have Venomverse Issue 1. A deadly new species called the Poisons has emerged from the vastness of space to make matters worse, they're hunting down the Venoms. And finally, we have Batman Issue 30. He's been pushed by Batman to snitch on the Joker and cajoled by the Joker to betray Batman. Now the flunky who would be Kite Man finally snaps. And that's going to bring today's episode to a close, but remember, the links to donate for Hurricane Harvey is in the description below, so please help out in any way you can. Also, if you like the channel, be sure to subscribe and then hit the bell next to it so you're notified whenever we upload a new video. And lastly, be sure to head over to our website, VariantComics.com, to chat with the rest of the Variant Nation. But I'll see you guys next time when I talk about all things comics. <laughs>